Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I haven't uploaded anything for a while, but uh, I thought I'd uh, do a very quick video here um, as I'm working on this now. It's basically, the, this is a 42 inch Panasonic TV. Um, I've already taken it apart and I know what the issue is because it's flashing on and off. Um, and uh, I know that that's because uh, an LED has, or more than one LED has gone inside the unit. So. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I've already taken it apart as you can see this is it here um, I'll show you the back of the telly so you can see which model this is uh, I'll just go to here it's actually that model there uh, TXL42B6B so it's just a Panasonic flat screen LED and uh, I'll show you what I've devised um, in this way of testing each LED to see which ones have blown and which ones are okay um, and it's actually quite uh, simple and I just use the remote control um, and I'll show you right now what I put together for this <clears throat> so here's the remote control for the TV um, what I do is take the back, back of the battery cover off of that and then I made these two wires basically it's just two bits of wire and I soldered a pin onto one end and left the other end bare like that. So what I do is I take these batteries out and I put one in, one bare end of one in the positive side, put the battery back in so it contacts, it contacts the metal of the wire. And then the same on the other end, but the, ne the negative side. <clears throat> right, hopefully, oh, I might do that again. That didn't go quite, not quite touching the metal inside. I'll just do that again. The battery is the correct way around, of course. Well, that's better. So now, so now I've got, that's the negative end and that's the positive end. And I've got the two pins here. <coughs> and if I can actually pick it up there and there. So now, I'll try and show you this on the camera as I test across the LEDs. For instance, the ones that I've got right on the camera there. Oops. Pardon me for dropping the camera. <laughs> oh, right. It's uh, it's a bit hard to see, but it, between the lines there are gaps. There's like a gap there. And you can see a square this side and a square this side. And it should be, I think it's positive there and negative there. You have to sort of scratch through the paint a little bit. But I'll show you. Um, if I scratch through that side and then this side there we go that LED lit up so I know that that one is okay so then if I move to the next one so I can look really good at that let's try that bit there there you go that LED works and I've already been through these so I've marked the next one along to there that doesn't light up so I know that's one I need to replace and I've done this a few times in the past and it doesn't ever seem to do anything it doesn't do any damage to the remote not so far anyway it always works fine after so this one as I'm scratching the paint through the through the paint to get a connection <clears throat> I'm getting nothing which I've now marked that off with a marker pen to say that's the one I need to replace and actually at this point it's a good idea to mark which is positive and which is negative to supply that LED so you know which way round to wire the new one when you cut one and put it in. So I'm just going to get the marker pen and put on there actually. But that's the plus, that's the negative there. That way I know which way round to wire it in for the new one. So yeah I'll just come back to this one again and show you one more time. So if I go to here and here, it should light this one up. 
There you go. I mean, there's probably a way to do it so it lights the whole row up with uh, more electricity. Let's go up and up a row. If there is, I don't know how to do that. I'm just, I just figured this out by playing about with it one day, and it seemed to do the job. So there we go. I know that one works. So far, on this, on this one, I found two. Normally, if one goes, it'll still work, and uh, you'll be able to see roughly which LED has gone, but. Um, this telly I've not I've actually just acquired this telly so I didn't even see it at that point but after testing I found that one's gone and that one in that real tight corner has gone actually I'll quickly show you when it comes to the corner ones you need to change around the, the pins so you need to put one on the end the positive on the very end and the negative is actually on the, that lower strip there I'm going to push through to try and there you go it's quite hard to get it sometimes but I can see that that's working there so there we go um hopefully that's useful to somebody out there <clears throat> and if you like my channel please like and, and subscribe and uh I'll try and think of something new to give you next time all right bye bye